On YouTube, content creators used to be able to make money by having ads run in front of their videos. Most people are probably unaware, but most channels have been completely demonetized, which means they are not allowed to make money and not allowed to run ads. Some of the biggest channels have had over 90% of their videos be demonetized. This is tens upon hundreds of millions of dollars from independent journalists and independent content creators completely gone. Entire companies affected, entire lives and careers completely changed, and YouTube, owned by Google, is completely lying about all of it. Let's take a look at their official policy of content that is not eligible for advertising. The first one is by far the most bizarre and broad. Controversial issues and sensitive events. Video content that features or focuses on sensitive topics or events including, but not limited to, war, political conflicts, terrorism or extremism, death and tragedies, sexual abuse, even if graphic imagery is not shown, is generally not eligible for ads. For example, videos about recent tragedies, even if presented for news or documentary purposes, may not be eligible for advertising given the subject matter. This is true. YouTuber Casey Neistat said, literally a video about charity, where I state all AdSense is going to charity. YouTube says, not suitable for advertisers. Team YouTube replied, we love what you're doing to help, but no matter the intent, our policy is to not run ads on videos about tragedies. Let's look at the number one trending video, Jimmy Kimmel on mass shooting in Las Vegas. It's about a tragedy and what do you know? An ad's running on it. Of course it is. So hundreds of millions of dollars being taken away from independent people and being funneled to the corporations. Is this a policy about helping people and improving the site? Or is this really just a move to mass censorship? Also, I wanted to add that Natural Disasters was in under this topic, but they recently, I guess, took it off the official site. Let's move on. Drugs and dangerous products or substances. Video content that promotes or features the sale, use, or abuse of illegal drugs, regulated drugs or substances, or other dangerous products is not eligible for advertising. Videos discussing drugs or dangerous substances for educational, documentary, and artistic purposes are generally eligible for advertising, so long as drug use or substance abuse is not graphic or glorified. I wanted to see if this is true, so I thought of the first rap song I could that was specifically about the use and sale and promotion of drugs. I looked it up, and what do you know? An ad is running on this video, and this song is primarily about the sale and the use of drugs. I'm not knocking anybody's hustle, I'm not trying to take his money, but what I am saying is, why are you taking away hundreds of millions of dollars from independent content creators if this is truly your policy? Because it's not your policy, clearly, because you pick and choose certain big corporations that you allow these ads to run on. Let's keep moving down their policy. Harmful or dangerous acts. Video content that promotes harmful or dangerous acts that result in serious physical, emotional, or psychological injury is not eligible for advertising. Some examples include videos depicting painful or invasive surgical or cosmetic procedures or pranks involving sexual harassment or humiliation. Hateful content. Video content that promotes discrimination or disparages or humiliates an individual or group of people on the basis of an individual or group's race, ethnicity or ethnic origin, nationality, religion, disability, age, veteran status, sexual orientation, gender identity, or other characteristic that is associated with systemic discrimination or marginalization is not eligible for advertising. Content that is satire or comedy may be exempt. However, simply stating your comedic intent is not sufficient and that content may still not be eligible for advertising. So that's comedy gone out the window. Pretty much all comedy makes fun of society in some ways. So YouTube is pretty much saying comedy, no. Politics, no. News, no. Truth, no. Drugs, no. Unless, of course, you work with a big corporation, then you can do all of that stuff. And this is the company that cares about diversity? You've got to be kidding me. Inappropriate language. Video content that contains frequent uses of strong profanity or vulgarity throughout the video may not be eligible for advertising. Occasional use of profanity won't necessarily result in your video being ineligible for advertising, but context matters. Does context matter? You mean by who says it or what corporation or what big celebrity says it because you clearly don't care about the average person or the independent content creator making a living. Inappropriate use of family entertainment characters. Videos depicting family entertainment characters or content 
whether animated or live action, engaged in violent, sexual, vile, or otherwise inappropriate behavior, even if done for comedic and satirical purposes, are not eligible for advertising. Comedy, nah. Incendiary and demeaning. Video content that is gratuitously incendiary, inflammatory, or demeaning may not be eligible for advertising. For example, video content that shames or insults an individual or group may not be eligible for advertising. What part of that wasn't covered under your hateful content policy? So they double down on pretty much the same exact thing so you let people know, we're probably going to demonetize your content no matter what. That's nice. Sexually suggestive content. Video content that features highly sexualized content, such as video content where the focal point is nudity, body parts, or sexual simulations is not eligible for advertising. Content that features sex toys, sexual devices, or explicit conversation about sex may also not be eligible for advertising, with limited exceptions for non-graphic sexual education videos. I'm sure I could find hundreds of music videos and other corporate videos that go against this policy that are allowed to have ads run on them, but of course not from the individual content creator. This is reality. Violence. Video content where the focal point is on blood, violence, or injury when presented without additional context is not eligible for advertising. Violence in the normal course of video gameplay is generally acceptable for advertising, but montages where gratuitous violence is the focal point is not. If you're showing violent content in a news, educational, artistic, or documentary context, that additional context is important. What do you mean if you're showing it in the news? You already pretty much said any news analyst who talks about anything gets demonetized, so that virtually means nothing. So what have YouTubers done and people like me who make Facebook videos because Facebook has no policy to make money on ads yet? We've gone to things like Patreon, or I personally use DonorBox. The link will be in the comments if you want to support me. So what did YouTube do? You will not believe this. YouTube made it even harder to put external links to Patreon in the videos, further blocking people for making money. This is insane, but this is the reality that we live in. YouTube is blocking almost all content creators that aren't corporate, that aren't with the mega companies. They don't want you to make money. This is obviously covert censorship where they want to cut the funding from certain individuals so they control the narrative. YouTube made it so individuals could make money and start companies and get a real message out there or a funny message out there, bring people together and be unique. But that's a threat to the establishment, which thrives by not allowing people to think, by not allowing people to have access to multiple sides and honest information. It's why on TV and from all the major trusted news sources, you have pretty much one direction shoved down your throat and they demonize anybody who says something else and who wants to start an honest conversation or debate. Some think this is by chance. Some think it's a massive coincidence. I'm willing to consider it. But what YouTube is doing, taking a lot of money away from a lot of good, smart, honest people is ridiculous. Tag your friends in this video, share this video, and let the world know everybody is getting demonetized. When it comes to politics, it's the left, it's the right, it's the central. It doesn't matter, they're taking all of the money out of it. And now they don't even want you to post links to other places where you could crowdfund money directly from your audience. One of my favorite YouTubers and one of the people years ago drew me to YouTube, kept me subscribed and focused in on YouTube. One of the reasons that I even care about that company is Philip DeFranco who is clearly sick of it. Dear YouTube, Team YouTube, your response is bullshit. It's not true. People are tired of this. Be better. It's not just him. It's all of us. We know that your policy isn't applied to everybody. It's only applied to us. But when it comes to the major corporation, they get to break every single rule. Sound familiar? It's why conservatives and progressives are sick of politicians being above the law and social justice activists are sick of other authority being above the law. But now when it comes to videos, the internet, and the flow of information, clearly something is not right here. Personally, I started using DuckDuckGo more, which is a search engine similar to Google. I don't use it all the time, but I use it as frequently as I can and I know millions of others have done the same. Google, YouTube, what's going on? We want you to be powerful, rich, and wealthy, but we also want to be able to make a living too. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for considering at bare minimum. That's all I ever ask is for people to consider. Much love to everyone. I hope the internet stays free and I hope the flow of information does not get closed off into a corporate echo chamber similar to the novel 1984.